Hey guys, I'm Ashley and today we are going to 3D print some cool coasters here on Chip Builds. Okay, so I have this drawing of this monstera leaf that I brought into Illustrator and I changed the stroke to 0.1 millimeter just so I can have it as thin as possible. This is the shape for the main coasters, but I want the holder to be the same shape as it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Object and then we're going to go down to Path and then we're going to do Offset Path. You want to make sure the little preview box is checked. And so once you find the number that you like, you can hit OK. And then I want there to be a little ridge around the case. That way it will hold the coasters in place. So I'm going to go down to Object Path and Offset Path again and make it a smaller offset so that we can get the little edge that we can extrude in Fusion 360. So once that's good to go, now you can zoom in and I'll hit A for the Direct Selection tool and I'll just delete these inner paths because we don't need them. So now I'm just going to separate them, that way in Fusion I can work with them better. And then so now we have the coaster and the case, and we're good to go. So that's all you have to do in Illustrator at this point. So now we're going to export it. We're going to go down to File, Export, Export As, and because we're bringing this into Fusion 360, we're going to save it as a DXF file. So you can hit OK, and then we want to change points to inches and make sure the scale is one inch to one unit because that is the scaling that Fusion 360 uses. So now you can jump into Fusion 360. I try to organize my things by folders. And uh, the first thing you want to do is save your document. I forget this a lot and it's bitten me in the butt in the past. So definitely make sure you save your work. So once you save the document, you can come up to insert and click insert DXF because that's the file that we just made. And I always click on the bottom plane that way when I bring it into my slicing program, the base of the model will automatically import to the correct orientation. Um, you don't have to do that, that's just something that I do. So just insert your DXF from wherever you saved it on your computer and then hit OK. And depending on how complex the shapes are, it could take a bit of time for it to show up in Fusion properly. And so I always try to put like my artwork in the middle. It doesn't really make a difference, but once you do that, you hit OK. So now that we have these shapes imported here, I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna come up to extrude or you can hit the shortcut E. And I want my coasters to be about two millimeters thick. So that's a pretty good thickness. So the sketch went away, but we can just go back into our sketch panel and click show the little light bulb. And then now we can come back and then we can see our sketch artwork. So now it's time to work on the case. So I'm going to click the bottom of the case and hit extrude again, and I'm only going to make the base of it one millimeter. It doesn't need to be super thick, it's just holding in these lightweight coasters, it's not a big deal. So now it's time to extrude the outer rim of our coaster case, and so we're going to click E for extrude, and we're going to click it, and we're going to make it nine millimeters tall, because our base is one millimeter and our coasters are two millimeters each. So I'm going to have four sitting in here, and so all that together because the base is the one millimeter plus the four coasters at two millimeters will equal nine millimeters in height. So the other thing, I just wanna make this easy to pull the coasters out so you don't have to really dig your fingers in there. So I made a new sketch and I just drew a simple rectangle on the top of the thing and then we can do an extrude again. So now we can select those two parts of the shape and hit extrude again and type in our number. And now that you see it's red, it's showing that we're gonna cut away that material. And that's what we want because we want to be left with a little channel for our finger to get up in there and pull a coaster out. And so now at this point your modeling is pretty much done, but you can make things um, a little more pleasing to the eye if you want. You can either add some chamfers to the edges or you can do a uh, fillet to round it over. I just did a small little fillet on the very edges here where you um, will grab the coaster out just so that you don't scratch yourself. But it's really optional and it doesn't really matter, it doesn't really make a difference. All right, so now you have our completed model of our coaster and our coaster case. So now I'm just gonna rename the bodies here. That way I know what they are when I go to export them. So we have our monster coaster and then we have our case. So now I'm gonna go up to tools and with one of them select them, I'm gonna hit make and I wanna uncheck to send to a 3D print utility. That way I can save just the STL file and then I can save it to my computer. The next thing we want to do is bring our STL files into a slicing program. The slicing software I use is Simplify 3D. You don't have to use this one. There are plenty of free ones out there that work really well. This is just my favorite because I like the user interface. So I am printing these on my Artillery X1 3D printer, which is a larger format printer. So I'm able to fit all four coasters in one go. 
In the settings here, we have 0.2 millimeter height, pretty standard. You know, infill doesn't really matter. So now that we export this, and we can save it to our SD card, and then we can fire up the printer. My Artillery Sidewinder X1 did a great job printing these coasters out. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching this video. Making coasters on the 3D printer and designing them is super simple. Anyone can do it. You don't need to use fancy software like Fusion 360. You can use a free online software called Tinkercad, which is super simple to use. Coasters are a really great cheap product to sell. Um, they typically don't cost a lot of money to print, but you can sell them for about $15 to $20 for a set, depending on what they are and depending on what kind of filament you're using. Any coasters that I sell, I use protopasta glitter filament just because I think it looks really cool and kind of makes them look fancier than they really are. Uh, so for me, different coasters personally have been pretty good sellers. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about this video or if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And I hope you learned something. See ya!